Hello and welcome to Team Elements Entry into the Hackathon. We have decided to focus on the 16th goal of sustainability relating to peace, justice and strong institutions. We draw down into two main aspects, 16.1 and 16.7, relating to reducing all forms of violence and related death rates and ensuring decision making is always inclusive, responsive, participatory and representative across all levels. To work towards tackling the goal, we've devised a solution model focusing on forecasting, insights and trend analysis. This would provide a well-rounded approach tackling violent crime. We believe the model utilises various data sources and analytics to provide a picture of the current trends related to violent crime. One of our techniques was a forecasting model. This would include a range of collated data used to predict likely trends regarding crime and features such as geographical hotspots which could be used when allocating resources to tackle the crime. We aim to utilise data to produce a predictive analytics model which could be effective in highlighting current and predicting future trends. It was hoped that data analysis collection and findings of trends and patterns could then be used to provide valuable insights to inform decision making. Looking at the data, we use source from the UK government crime data from 2018 to 2017. It was an open source data from the government website and databases. We supplemented that with the daily weather summary data from 2017 to 2018 to see the key trends and how they correlated together. We went to add future data sources which will enhance our data set, including Twitter API, from the present day 2017 and further long timeframes. Looking at allocation and crime analysis of static live data combination. Then looking at police resourcing data of how police officers are deployed in different areas and how we can help them resource it into different areas. And combining all that data together to make a better data set. When looking at the analysis of our data, we broke it into two main areas of focus, forecasting and trend analysis. One of the original elements of our model was forecasting, being able to showcase where and when crime was happening. So we could visualise hotspots. For example, this could enable us to predict what areas need more resourcing and, and costs and prepare them for the most crucial time periods. Performing trend analysis on the data will enable us to enhance our forecasting model, analysing what factors regularly affect crime rates across the UK. For example, looking at the rain or the police force. If trends can be found, we could use them to help conserve resourcing when necessary, plus audit why those factors have been affecting the crime rate. Overall, we have produced a reliable forecasting model that confirms how we can implement something like this to reduce crime rates across the UK. Our model is easily can be easily adapted and enhanced with additional data sources and further trend analysis. Thanks for listening to our SAS Hackathon showcase presentation.